Hi guys, uh, welcome back to part 3 uh, of our uh, series how to create a simple mission in BMS. Uh, just a reminder, in part 1 and 2 we talked about um, yeah, creating a, a, a mission with a simple game plan. Uh, uh, the uh, big, big game plan is that we uh, take off in Kimpo with a full ship block 50 and destroy uh, the um, airbase here in Heiju. But before we have to take out the ASA-3 to make this plan working. Also we have some support units, uh, which is a tanker here and an AWACS there. And also we have some air force frets, which is uh, that area with an AWACS and uh, some uh, MiG-31s. So uh, that's uh, pretty much the uh, um, current state, so to say. We also fiddled around with mission commander in part 2 to modify some stuff and uh, show it what are the advantages of uh, using TE Builder uh, 2D, uh, the 2D map and uh, Mission Commander. Uh, but again, this is just my taste, so you can do it the way you want, try stuff out. I, j I just show how I, oh, I would create a mission. What we want to talk about today is weather. So um, uh, uh, again, the goal is to me, uh, when I create a mission, uh, to make it a little bit more realistic and more fun and more challenging sometimes. So as real as it can get, right? That's uh, always the goal uh, to me. Um, weather. So, right now, uh, um, uh, uh, so you, if you are an ETE builder, so just, let's just start from the beginning. So we open our mission in the ETE builder, go to edit, and now this is our mission, okay? Uh, we open our flight and uh, Let's see. Okay, this is our route. And we want to define now a weather. So there are several options to do that. What I want to achieve is I want to have good weather when I take off. I want to have bad weather, really bad inclement weather when I, I'm in the target area. And I want to have poor weather when I land, or let's say inclement weather too. That's uh, the goal that I want to uh, uh, have. So. Um, there's uh, to say to be honest uh, to define that exact weather in that area or in that defined areas bms is a little bit limited but uh, uh, there is a great tool uh, to achieve that goal but for now i just talk about the uh, bms weather uh, quick um so uh, as you can see this is a weather control uh, there are several options uh, first weather model could be probabilistic uh, that means um, it changes by uh, uh, yeah by uh, by chance so to say uh, the system decides when which weather is uh, the probability you can set here uh, you can change the intervals between the the weathers uh, so that that is uh, uh, set for for the whole map right uh, just the door Okay, uh, yeah, sorry, postman on the door. <laughs> um, next thing is uh, deterministic. So that means you define certain shifts uh, at a certain time. For example, you have the first shift uh, at, uh, I don't know, uh, 137 to fair. Uh, so that means at this time, the weather in the whole map changes to fair, okay? Uh, it's, it's really, so it, it's not that realistic i have to say but uh, it's an option it's possible uh, you can just play around with that uh, yeah uh, no problem but uh, to me the most uh, um, so to say promising uh, uh, option is the map model so what is a uh, map model or how is it working um, each mission has the uh, uh, possibility to create uh, a certain uh, data at a certain time or or, or or provide certain weather at a certain time and uh, this is done by writing information to say uh, so to say fmap format so um, right now we have to uh, check our um, uh, data path here in the drive so stand by i just open it and uh, here we go oh come on uh, so where it is there it is okay okay you see right now this is our uh, 
campaign structure where all our missions are. So this is our test YouTube with several uh, names. Uh, uh, so uh, that doesn't matter right now which name is which. But uh, when you want to create a map model weather, you need a data ending which is called fmap. So test YouTube dot fmap. Okay. Um, how to create that? So right now I uh, selected map model and uh, selected uh, deselected maps auto update because we don't need it right now. Uh, we have uh, what we want to achieve is we want to have one steady weather in the mission during the whole time. Um, so uh, to create an F map data, you have to first select, uh, um, yeah, for one uh, default settings, for example, sunny. So uh, Sunny is now loaded, no loaded, and now you click uh, uh, Save uh, Weather. Okay, click Save Weather, and now you see in our weather st uh, for, um, data structure it, in, it created an F map data. Okay, cool so far. That is uh, not bad. So you go, you can, uh, uh, yeah, uh, go to the next thing. Um, and uh, I want to introduce the next tool is uh, called Weather Commander. So again, like in part two mentioned, you go to the Weapon Delivery Planner bot NL uh, website and download a Weather Commander. And this is this is how it looks like. Um, what you want to do first is open our F map. So uh, it's already here. It's a test YouTube F map, and it's loaded now. So you, as you can see, there's nothing, <laughs> just sunny weather, just beautiful weather in whole Korea. So uh, and uh, that's uh, not really what we want to have. Um, again, what we want to have is uh, beautiful weather here, uh, inclement weather here, and fair weather there. Okay, that's our goal. And you can do that pretty easily. So um, just check. Uh, so our target area is. Uh, north of 06 and uh, our uh, airbase landing airbase is in 36 okay um, let's go it so let's zoom in first thing uh, which is important uh, to set so if you want to have it that way that I want to have it that the weather didn't change during the whole time then you have just go uh, and uh, set some stuff at the basic data map Okay, right now it's uh, we have a steady wind coming uh, from the northeast uh, with 20 knots. Okay, uh, we have first to uncheck this or set this to zero knots because again, if you have wind which are coming from that way, that, that drives the weather away from the error, error but it should stay. So because of that, you have to uh, set the winds uh, to to uh, zero. Okay, so let's start um, again. Let's uh, set here inclement north uh, of 06. It's about that area. So let's say this area here is about completely inclement and uh, the area around that area is uh, poor. Okay. Uh, let's do it this way and the area around that is fair. Okay. So then we want to have uh, also the same at uh, uh, Kunzan, uh, so in Kunzan I want to have fair weather, or let's say poor weather. Kunzan is about uh, this area, so let's check just uh, where it is. Uh, yes, north of 36, and uh, it's about that area. Okay, so I want to have poor weather there and fair weather around it. So that's basically an easy, easy solution how to set uh, uh, different areas. Uh, uh, with different weather, but you can go much further uh, and much deeper into it. Uh, uh, so you can set different pressure types, uh, which is uh, yeah helpful because uh, normally uh, when you have bad weather, there's always a, a little bit lower pressure. You can set it this way. You can change temperature. You can change the wind at the area, cloud base and uh, whatnot so let's uh, set the cloud base to let's say uh, 1200 feet in our target area um, and around let's say at the 3000 okay 
then the cloud cover is not that important right now and same for cloud size what i want to change also is the visibility so i want to make sure that the visibility is pretty hard in the target area um, so let's say define that to six miles and around a little bit more say 80. okay same for uh, uh, Uzan, uh, Kunzan area uh, let's say okay visibility here is about a little bit high let's say nine miles to have a nice juicy IFR uh, approach when we are uh, when we are land there so it's it's like a uh, little uh, uh, even you can make this surprise you know when you create a mission and uh, you brief okay the weather is good but then uh, you find out okay when you land all oh, the weather is bad so you make an i have to make an ifr approach so it's, you can uh, surprise you guys so it's uh, totally possible and there you have it so that way you can pretty easily create uh, different weather maps uh, you can go crazy with it and also do uh, 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 updated map models uh, so you can change the that that way you can change the weather every 30 uh, minutes or 15 minutes even uh, um, that is also a cool tool but um, just for now the we uh, want to save this F map uh, overwrite the existing one and uh, that takes some seconds <clears throat> and that's basically it so um yeah that way we created or manipulated the weather pretty easily um and you can of course go crazy with it so and now uh, uh yeah you're actually good to go so um there's one more tool that we can uh, play around maybe i make a part four or even five out of it uh, which is weapon delivery planner um, but most important again this so don't get confused <laughs> by so many tools uh, and uh, so many uh, things to to uh, uh, take care about because um, you know bms is a hardcore sim it's uh, uh, you can hard go, do hardcore mission creation and really go you know uh, uh, create crazy stuff so when i create a big mission with all the weather and all the flights, I normally invest eight to ten hours for each mission. So when I have created a mission for, let's say, 20, 30 guys, plus all the documentation, it's uh, it's a lot of work, but it's fun, you know, and it's uh, also a good training. Um, um, yeah, let's say okay, let's do a part four, but I where I. Uh, let's uh, introduce weapon delivery planner, but for now that's uh, the weather part. Uh, of course, there are other great weather tools out there, uh, uh, which is uh, one of them is called uh, Tyrant's uh, Mission Tool. It's a great, great tool. Also, um, there's a uh, uh, so to say live weather feature or live weather tool available. Uh, maybe, maybe I make an, another video just for weather, but. Uh, yeah, for now it's uh, totally fine, I think. Um, yeah, again, don't uh, be uh, overwhelmed by so many uh, uh, information and so many options, but that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's a sim. So it's a sim about a very complex uh, area, so to say. And uh, if you have questions, have fun. Uh, uh, to feel free to ask them somewhere where you, where you can find help in the comments section here or forum uh, maybe you find your answer in the documentation and um, yeah that's it enough said bye bye